What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. So um, it's been hmm, <laughs> mad long since I did a Q&A. So I figured, you know what? It's the new year and not gonna lie, 2020 we've gained a little audience here and I'm loving it. If you are new to this channel, welcome and thank you so much for choosing to watch me for whatever freaking reason. <laughs> But no, really, for real, I do appreciate you guys so much. Um, I did a poll on Instagram, a little Dropbox, where you can ask some questions. So I'm gonna read some off. There's some questions about Bay too, right? Y'all wanna know a lot about Bay. What's up with that? Where you at, Bay? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm Bay. <laughs> <laughs> um, All right guys, so let's go ahead and get into this video. But first, if you're not already, definitely hit that subscribe button and follow your girl on IG for all things fitness, baby. Cause together, <laughs> oh, we got this. Oh. <laughs> Dang, that was good, babe. All right guys, so. Let's do this. Bay is behind the camera, making sure nothing gets fudged up like usual. What would I do without him? Okay guys, so here we go. Pretty rapid fire, so I don't waste anybody's time. <laughs> when did you get into working out and what made you start? So I got into working out when I was about like 16 years old, I would say. My older brother just got a job at GNC, General Nutrition Center. So he went like learning all this information about diet and exercising and supplements. And he would come home and just like talk all night about it pretty much. Then I started doing like little workouts and stuff in my room. Then eventually I got my gym membership at about 18 years old, I believe I was 18. Finally got my gym membership. Didn't know what I was doing, but you learned along the way. I actually got a personal trainer and then I just never stopped since. Like I fell in love with it. How did you become a Gymshark athlete? So here's the thing. I'm actually not a Gymshark athlete. <laughs> I know a lot of you guys actually think that I am and I totally understand that, okay? Cause I do make a lot of Gymshark videos cause I genuinely love the brand. But the truth is I am not an actual Gymshark athlete, but I am in an influencer contract with them. So I do technically, I work with them uh, promoting new releases and things like that. But um, I am not an exclusive Gymshark athlete. So don't get it twisted. What program do you use to edit your videos? So actually I use two programs. The first one's Final Cut Pro. That one is where we take all our raw footage and just chop everything out that doesn't belong there, like boring things, just get rid of it. Curse words. And things like that. Then we put it through another program, we finalize it through a program called Wondershare. It's actually called Filmora Wondershare, I think. And that's where we kind of make it a little special, where we add effects like that, and just kind of add a little, little something, something to it, make it a little, like the cherry on the cake kind of thing. And that's what we use. Where's your accent from? Guessing somewhere east, your vowels sometimes can sound deep. New York City? You're so close, yes, pretty much. So Bay and I, we live in a town called Sparta in New Jersey. It's right where like New Jersey and Pennsylvania and New York, they all meet that tri-state area. So I, will, I pretty much like live in every one of these states. So right now we are right in New Jersey, um, right where our families live. And we actually live about an hour outside of New York City, if, just to give you guys a little perspective. So if you do hear like a little bit of that vowel, okay? Like the coffee or the water, we're right by New York City. Like that's where I get my sassiness from. Hey, uh, how old is Wolfie? Mm, come here, baby. Uh, Wolfie's always around, by the way. Always, he loves watching us film. So Wolfie is about five years young. We got him up at Lake George in a gift shop and um, he just spoke to us, okay? He was what we needed as an addition to our family. Five years, baby. We love you, Wolfie. Mm. Do you follow any certain kind of diet? Truth is, um, we are very cautious to what we bring into the house, like in our fridge. We stay away from refined sugars. We stay away from a lot of white starches. Fast food. A lot of fast food. We don't bring in like preserved foods or anything like that. We try to cook everything pretty fresh, like fresh ingredients, uh, lean protein, natural fats, complex carbs, and things like that. Um, I do a lot of intuitive eating. So I pretty much, I, I go based off of what my body kind of 
needs. Okay, so if I was just lifting hard and heavy, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuel up. If I get hungry an hour later, so what? I'm gonna eat again. So for me, I don't really look at calories. I just pretty much listen to my gut, literally. Okay, so this one's a juicy one and I knew it was gonna get asked. How do you make your money? The truth is there's different avenues of income, I guess you can say. So you can make ad revenue, such as watching YouTube videos, the ads that get placed in front of or throughout a video. You can also make money as like an influencer, like working with brands, being sponsored, things like that. Alongside that, you also can make commissions. So a lot of affiliate links, like you see in the description box, my Gymshark link, for example, like these are commission based, which is believe it or not, is actually where we make the most of our money. So I mean, thank you guys. Without you, we literally couldn't be here right here right now making these videos for you guys. So really appreciate you guys. We love you very much. So yeah, I think that's pretty much the gist of it. What are you and Bay's favorite cheat meal? Mmm, girl. So I love sushi and pizza and burgers and french fries right off the bat. Like I can eat that all day, every day. In one meal. Uh-huh, like a little buffet action going on. That's what I'm talking about. What about you? So pizza is my definite go-to. Mm -hmm. um, originally, I liked the works on it, like the meats and the vegetables and all that, but since I've been living with her for all these years, she's a plain Jane. She wants nothing but cheese on that thing. I want it to taste like pizza for crying out loud. I don't want distractions. Like, I'm trying to eat pizza for pizza, not trying to like cover it up and be something else. So I definitely adopted that. So plain pizza, basic, straightforward. I honestly feel like salad shouldn't be put on pizza. What were you doing before you started YouTube? Um, okay, so <laughs> before YouTube, I was waiting tables and I was in a university studying social media actually, but I was like all in the gen eds area where it was like the boring stuff I didn't care about, not even close to getting into like the real nitty gritty. And I really weighed the pros and cons of that degree and at that time in my life, I just wasn't happy at all doing what I was doing. I was actually super miserable and it like took a big impact on my mental health. So I finally just one day I had an epiphany. It was February of 2018 when I said, that's it. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. Talk about what I wanna talk about. <laughs> Got me to where I am today and I just, you just follow your dreams, baby. During the time when I first started YouTube, Bay actually worked three jobs so that I didn't have to work one job at all. So he picked up the slack working three different jobs while I sat there making YouTube videos and working on Instagram. So without him too, I wouldn't be here either. So it's, it's kind of that, that transition in life and the unique opportunity of having a Bay like Bay. What does your Bay do for a living? And by the way, I just love how you all call him Bay. His name is James in case anybody was curious. Not um, anymore. But Bay, it just, it's, your bae now. End of story, okay? I'll take it. Just accept it. Already did. So bae, what do you do for a living? I sit behind that camera, I sit behind that computer screen, I edit, I do everything with Ash. You mm -hmm. just don't see me. Mm -mm. He's behind the scenes kind of man. Started working full time together earlier this year, actually. He was working like with his degree and, and <laughs> doing part time like gigs like that. It wasn't until early this year where we kind of decided like, let's just do this full time. Yeah. We took a risk. He dropped his jobs and we just did this full time. And it really was so worth it because we're able yeah. to grow as a business, like doing what we're doing substantially more yep. than we would have without us taking that risk. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No risk, no reward. It's true. So it was a very scary feeling. It was very scary dropping like the money, like dropping your income and then just being like, let's just jump into this. But it was so worth it and we're so happy now. We work together every single day, even though you get on my case sometimes. Okay. You get on my case. You get on my case. You get on, you get on my case. We get on you each get on other's cases. Case. So yeah, that's what we do right now. He edits a lot of the videos while uh, I like, you know, engage uh, with you guys and you know, talk, chit chat with you guys. And so we work hand in hand. We'll film, he'll edit the videos, I will edit the thumbnails, and it's just a nice even balance. 50-50, baby. Yeah. Totally. So next question, actually, it is girl talk. Your favorite makeup brand and the one makeup item you couldn't live without? All right, girl, so I'm gonna be real true. If we're talking drugstore, I love Maybelline and I love Wet n Wild, girl. You can't go wrong with them. Cruelty-free Wet n Wild. Mm -hmm. I really love Tarte. I love Tula. Um, Too Faced, I know, they all start with a T. And that's not my intention, like, I don't know why, but I like the brands that start with a T. 
one thing I couldn't live without is lip liner because it went, if I don't wear lip liner, girl, I got shriveled up lips. They look like they were prunes left out in the sun and uh, it looks like I have no upper lip. So that a car drove over. Thanks so much for that. Um, okay, um, do you recommend taking any supplements if you're somebody who's like in the gym and working out a lot, then yeah, I mean, I do recommend supplements. Protein um, and creatine are the top two, along with CLA, that I personally, those are my top three. CLA, protein powder, and um, creatine. I love and can't live without creatine. Without creatine, I feel like I'm shriveled up body. <laughs> but taking creatine, I feel powerful. I'm able to lift a little bit heavier. It gives me that extra pump because it's basically water going into your muscles and just popping them out a little bit. So my abdominals, they just like pop when I take creatine. So what are your favorite leggings of all time? So um, I think this goes without saying. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I love the Gymshark camo, right? But I do want to say they're adapt family as a whole. I could just wear them every single day for the rest of my life and I think I'd be good. What is the best and worst thing about being an influencer? So the the best thing I would say is, I think just feeling like I have like a purpose in life. This is my way of like giving back and putting something out into the world that hopefully people can take with them and help and better their lives in some way, shape, and form. Like I just, that's all my ultimate goal is to provide some kind of information that could be helpful to people in their everyday life. So that's like the best thing. And obviously working with Bay pretty much 24 seven, that's the best thing. Like it's ultimate. Like I love working from home and just kind of like on my own time. The worst thing about being an influencer definitely has to be the constant feeling because you are creating content. You always have to be creative and your mind's always going. And for that reason, I kind of don't sleep anymore. <laughs> like I don't, I'm not relaxed like I used to be before doing this um, in a sense of like having like real free time and stuff. I, when you make your own money and when you're doing your own thing, that's all you can think about. It's very consuming, which is why it's very important to take time away, which is something Bay and I really need to work on this new year is to kind of mm -hmm. take time off. How you met? Bay's version versus your version. This is an interesting question. This is actually a hilarious question. Do you want to go first or me? I'll go first. Okay. Okay. So I was a busboy at a local restaurant mm -hmm. and I was cleaning off a table one day and I looked up and I saw this woman standing at the front coming in for a job application. I saw her from the distance and I swear I fell in love right then and there, game over. That's love at first sight, basically. Yep. And I, when he, he always says it, it, his story has never changed. And it took me forever to like ask her out and do and the then, whole dating thing. Then you say you begged the manager to hire me off. Yeah. Right? So when she left after getting like the job application, I went over to the manager who was going to interview her, and I begged him to hire her. And uh, yeah, it was he did. Well, so my story is kind of similar. So I needed a job very badly, dude. Uh, my best friend, Jen, she took me to that restaurant and told me, I said, no, I'm not waiting tables anymore. And she told me, whatever you do, just go in for an application. That's all you have to do, girl. Get that freaking application. So I said, all right, that's easy enough to do. So I went in and got the application. And then I'm at the host stand. This guy comes up. And the very first thing that we say to each other, I said something to the other waitresses about, wow, it's really cool you guys can wear skirts here. I never worked at a restaurant where you could wear a skirt. And then he says, yeah, but they won't let me wear one. <laughs> so right then and there, my first impression was, I looked at him, I said, wow, he's good looking, number one. That was my first thought. I said, whoa, he's good looking, he's very clean cut. Well, he was at the time. And then that, like, when you said that, my first initial reaction was, he's gay. I get it. <laughs> if you were, there's women. nothing wrong with that. But I really did think, oh man, like, it wasn't like love at first sight with you for me, but it was a definite like, oh, who is this? And I even ran out to my friend afterwards. I said, Jen, I said, girl, I saw this mad cute guy in there. I said, I think I'm apply. I'm gonna apply. And uh, she goes, ooh, girl, yay. And then now look. Mm. Now we engaged. Crazy, right? That's, that's our story. We met there. So, do you still have your home gym? 
So do you guys remember in the beginning of the year when I made my little home gym <laughs> um, on Instagram? Uh, actually, I made a home gym YouTube video too, but I posted a lot like of workouts on Instagram in my little home gym, okay? It was really mad cute and stuff. Since then, Bay and I are not in that apartment anymore. We moved four months ago to a different apartment and um, we no longer actually have that setup anymore. But let me tell you something, a little fun fact. I don't know if anybody knew this. <laughs> That home gym in our older apartment, get ready for this. It was our freaking living room. And it's so funny because people on YouTube would say like, whoa, you must like, you must live in this like crazy New York City apartment, you know, with like the, 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 the windows and the room and the space, you must got it made for space like that. No, we actually had to like ditch a living room completely. And there's a rug, there's an ugly, ugly, shizzy brown, carpet underneath our little fake foam hardwood like fake floor so it was completely rigged it was so uncomfortable to step on bay's knees <laughs> from filming me and getting down his like knees actually started up uh, what happened to your knees like they they're, your tendonitis started acting up. i stood on those foam mats every day and for some reason, it did something weird to my knees where my knees would just be throbbing and killing me. And then I would step off the mat and I would feel fine. I stepped on the mats and my knees were on fire. I stepped off, I was fine. That was my living space. Uh -huh. I had to live in that. We had no, we, we literally didn't have a couch. Or, we, we got rid of everything just to have gym equipment. And we did it for the gram. We did it for the gram. We did it so that we can create gym content. Um, we actually created it right before COVID too. It wasn't because of COVID. It was actually just something we genuinely wanted to do in that new year to make more content. So what's hilarious about it is we were, <laughs> we were mad like scared of the landlord coming over because I'm almost positive like somewhere in the lease it probably said you can't have a freaking like- you Home gym in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is your favorite lifting exercise? I just love doing any kind of workouts with abs. I love it. I love feeling the crunch. Uh, Cause afterwards, like it, it just, it just makes me feel like a beast, honestly. So my favorite exercise of all time is grabbing a little barbell and doing little sit-ups with it. That makes me feel rock hard right here. Uh, yeah, that's my favorite. I really, my least favorite would have to be any kind of compound workout, believe it or not. I do a lot of compound work because I have games goals, but other than that, I truly don't like. Like squatting, I hate squatting so much. Oh, I hate it. Okay guys, last but not least, how do you get back into a routine or get motivation back after a couple weeks of rest? So I'll tell you what, I already planned on making a video you know, in celebration of the new year, because I know a lot of us, including me and Bay, we have both taken a, a few weeks off. His birthday was right before Christmas, so we didn't do anything then. We did not like work out. We did pretty much ate just whatever we wanted for the past couple weeks. So we have been out of it, not working out at all. So I'm gonna make a full-fledged video on how I'm getting back into it, what I actually do to prepare and how I get into that groove again to eventually get back to where we were prior to the whole holiday season. So we have our own methods, um, cause this isn't the first time, <laughs> pretty much what we do every single year. So I will be sharing with you my little tips and tricks in the future video coming up. Thank you all who submitted questions, really appreciate it. This is very fun to film. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow your girl on IG for all things fitness. Cause together, we got this, baby. Yes. We'll see you in our next video. Love you guys. Mwah.